Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make this pomander with blue orchid dendrobium. It is really easy to make it and you can use it uh, for the flower gear or you can use it on the centerpiece of like an accent and put on the branches, curly willow branches or manzanitas branches. Okay, I hope you like it. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this pomander that you can use for flowers girls or you can use uh, for the centerpieces like an accent to put on the branches. You can use uh, on the curly willow branches or manzanitas branches because it's really, really light. It's not heavy at all and it could be in good shape for a long, long time. Okay, let me start to show you. Okay, these are the materials that we need to build or make our plum pomander. We will use blue dendrobium orchid, a scissor if you want to use it, a white and dry stir from a bowl. This is like a four inch diameter. We will need this paint to cover the bowl so that's where you don't, you're not going to have any problem later after you glue all the, uh, the flowers on it in case that you have a white spot. And I'm going to use uh, the glue gum. I can use another glue, the Lomé, this is for flowers as well, but it takes too long until the flower dry on the stair foam. Okay, so the first step that you have to have, you have to do is paint the ball. I already have here one painted ball. It's gonna look like that. Okay, then you have to put the flowers. The flowers on the biggest thing came with this little portion that you don't need. You have to cut it off and use the flowers just like that. Okay, you have to glue the flowers by one, one, uh, one by one. Mm -hmm. When this is hot, just put the glue all in the back of the these flowers and just hold it like that in the bowl and that's it. You're gonna do exactly the same with the next one. I show you, put glue all the back, pour it here, hold it, and that's it. Keep doing. You can do this the day before of the event, this it can be a wedding or whatever other kind of event because the, the orchid, the tropical flowers, they are very good uh, without water so they don't need to be all the time in water and they're going to be okay. Also if you have a cooler, you also can put in the cooler and then it's going to help you to protect more the design. But uh, uh, honestly there is no problem at all with the orchid if they have been uh, very well either, um, uh, Hydratada, hydrated. If she, she drink water the night before, that's gonna be good for a long time. Okay, now in the second row, I'm gonna do the same. This is like a little bit wrinkly, but it doesn't matter. Okay. That's not want to be like that. Perfect. In between the other two flowers that you put in the first row, you are gonna put the next one. You're gonna set the next one. So, like that, perfect. One more. Okay. This is really easy. You see, 
there are some there are some a uh, blue spot in between the flowers but if in case that you didn't paint before that is going to be a problem to cover later so better always paint the white or even when it's green paint the ball and the color of the flower that you want to use to cover all the ball Okay. The next row, you're gonna start in between the big petals of the flowers that you put before. Okay. I'm gonna need more flowers. I'm gonna need good, good, good. Can you see that I am using the middle petal of the flower? Okay, the back of the middle petal of the flower. on the ball now I need to use a smaller flower Time to cover the hole. This is like a lollipop, right? <laughs> Think on the shape. We have to keep the shape that we are looking for okay okay there is one more spot here but I don't like it in this case you have to put the flowers in the other direction okay like that uh, one more here it's like something smaller probably like that yeah I see and it's good yeah I don't like it okay and the last one is gonna be here have the pomander. In this case you don't need to add any uh, ribbon or wire or tape to attach on the branches. Directly you can put them on the branches and they're gonna be there easily. It's very easy and fast to do. Okay well I hope you like it uh, I'll be more than happy in helping you if you have some question about it. 
this is really easy easy to start if in case though you always dream to do something like that uh, with all kids okay just let me know my information is down below and I will add some picture of the centerpieces that I um, when I of the centerpieces that I, I made by using these uh, uh, pomanders thank you and have a great day thank you